Dear students, welcome back to online classes. I give one questions. What I have given the teach in previous classes. What is meant by inscriptions? What is meant by inscriptions? Give examples. Answer. Inscriptions mean Inscriptions mean engraved writing. Inscriptions are written on stone rock metal ivory and other materials that last longer example for this Ashoka's inscription Ashoka's inscription Samudra Gupta's Allahabad pillar inscription Allahabad Pillar inscription Himadi Pulukesh's high body inscription High body inscription etc. Dear students, uh, let us do this. Lesson sources. So you are CES sources. Dear children, already I have explained the inscriptions are there in the archaeological sources. Now I will explain the remaining types, coins, monuments, other ruins. Coins, monuments, other runes. Coins, though the coins are small in shape, they contain many important aspects. They are helpful in understanding the geographical extent of the rulers. Kingdom who minted the coins. They also aid us in knowing the language of administration, titles, that the kings possessed their religion, economic conditions of the times. Administration, right. Coins explains the administration. Titles possessed their religion, R E L I Z I O N religion, economic conditions, of the times the metal technology in vogue of particular kingdoms. For example, Samudra Gupta had minted seven different types of gold coins. 
based on the pictures and those kinds it is said that samudra gupta was a lover of music and he had conducted ashwamedha yaga which yaga conduct which yaga conducted the ashwam uh, samudra gupta ashwamedha yaga ashwamedha yaga y a g a gautami putra shatakarni got the name of nahapana erased on his coins and engraved his name on them they support the view that gautami putra had defeated nahapana the availability of roman coins in bengaluru proves the fact that is this religion had trade link with romans 2000 years back next monuments 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 are the major source to write history palaces p a l a c e s palaces temples forts and pillars etc or the monuments only meharoli iron pillar and vijayapuras whispering gol gumbas are the evidences of the maturity of then science and technology knowledge shahjanas taj mahal tells the story of love chittur vijaya stambha tells the victory of rana kumbha chittur vijaya stambha tells the victory of rana kumbha the cave pictures and engravings of elephanta elora and ajanta narenta mostly over painting and sculpture during their time the temples of haiwale and pattatkallu explain the evolution of indian temple architecture architecture of madrasa built by gavan in bidar narata importance given to education during those times the fort of shirangapatana explains the accomplishments in the area of defense technology thus the monuments throw light on them contemporary religious aspects technology economic growth scientific knowledge and creativity achieved next one other ruins based on the various pieces of terracotta bangles beads and seal procured during the examination one can understand the socio cultural economic political and religious life of then people socio cultural economic political and religious socio cultural economic political and religious life of then people not only this one can also understand the food habits and pattern of business of those times by applying carbon 14 dating procedure on the biological ruins that animals birds and trees found in these sites one can arrive at the accurate period of the ruins buddha stupas came to light during excavation at sarnati in yadagiri district a lot number of evidence were found that speak of commercial contact between south india and romans like this the remains found at excavation tell many things that were lost 
over a period of time. Dear children, I give some questions. What I have given the teach? Chittors, first one. Chittors, Vijayasthamba, tells, T-L-L-S, tells the victory, V-I-C-T-O-R-Y, victory of dash, answer, Rana Kumba. Second one, what are the aspects? What are the aspects? A S P C T S. Aspects on which monuments through more light. Through more light. The monuments throw light on the contemporary religious throw light on the hand. Contemporary religious religious aspects technology T C H N O L O Z Y economic growth. Scientific knowledge, and creativity achieved. Dear students, okay, I think it's enough today. You watch the video what I have given. Twice or thrice, once it's not enough. I hope you understood better. Okay, thank you, thank you very much.